What is up everybody? This is Beetle5, keeping the beat with Fran Bo. When we last left off, we managed to complete the summons and I am now a human again. So I think now the only thing left to do is to return to the king. God, I must be freezing right now. This dress that has no sleeves at all. And it's not, let's change that. Let's make it good old springtime. That's more appropriate for this. This weather is more appropriate for my outfit that I am wearing. Alright. I'm pretty sure this is the king's room all the way over here. Oh, sh oh my god. Hello. Everything is fine. It feels like hell. Oh, oh, though. Those are the exact same words from the beginning of the game. I remember those. Oh, oh, you strangly Mr. Midnight! What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Yeah, you tell him, Fran. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? Yeah, I'm seeing myself right now and I look like an ugly bitch. I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go now. We, we kill the traitors because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? Why are you so concerned about that, Mr. Midnight? We have another one right here. I mean, eh, whatever. My kitty is not a traitor. He promised me to be by my side. He promised. As your mommy and daddy did, who promised to take care of you? Wake up, friend. You are surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I wonder if this is actually foreshadowing that, for, foreshadowing that maybe Mr. Midnight is, like, not real or is a demon or something. I mean, I don't know. Or maybe or I am the only one you have, friend. I'm the one who's always been by your side. Or maybe Aunt Grace is, like, a demon or something, and that's where I have got to get... Oh wait, no. I didn't get Mr. Midnight from Aunt Grace. I got it from my parents. Maybe my parents are demons! I don't know. Let's get rid of this traitor, eh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. Oh! Oh, no! Go away. Go away. It wasn't me. That kitty has so much blood in his body. That's horrible. The throne was fucked up looking too, the throne was hands with eyeballs on him. Fred, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. Yeah, they were. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry that you feel that way. No, no, you're, you're, you're not crazy. I'm just a giant talking tree man, and you're in a giant, like, bug slash vegetable world, and you're totally not crazy. <laughs> you should be happy now. You found the stones and you became human again. That is very great indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears. I don't want to hurt you, my dear, and I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that, because you love me. Yes, Kitty, I do love you very much. Friend, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters in you. Now let's go and open the gate so you can go home. Yes, yes, let's do it. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Open the gate. Well, I'm just gonna follow you. Hello. Here we are. I should've known this is this big balcony with steps that look like- Oh, hey, what's up? I should've known this was for something. Yes, but where is the door? Alright, I have to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? Um, yeah, I am pretty damn sure I want to go back. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Why would you even give me that option? The human must leave. Open the secret door into her reality. Let the human return home. Oh wow, we are going home, kitty. Ha 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 ha! Zaya the King, good day to you. I brought the stone so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It will be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. A very magical place. Oh yeah, I'll just live like a little... I just might as well live in a pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Valkasts, and she is not ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Are the Valkasts those freaky ghosts with like the Egyptian masks that I saw before? Is that what they are? Come on, Wizard. Place the stones. We have no time to lose. Be ready for what? You know what the Valkasts told you about facing your truth? Oh yes, I think I remember. I don't. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard, sir. Magic stones! Create the lock that only the human can break! 
Okay, I just found my way home. Now I'm making a lock that's preventing me from going home, because that makes real fucking sense. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You are the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow. All right, let's see. Uh, another stupidly unnecessary puzzle. Oh, oh my god. Oh, um, wow. Okay, this is probably the easiest puzzle I've had to do for this entire game. I smell victory! Again! Oh, sorry, I just farted! Again! You did it, friend. You can go home now. I'm so excited. Oh, I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. We won't forget you. You are a very special creature. Well, I could leave you my bloody knife. That's about all I got. And, uh... And my family photo, and a crayon. We won't forget you, you are a very special creature. Oh, I almost forgot, Pelotros gave me this for you. Maybe I can leave this behind for you guys to remember me by, I don't know. Who <laughs> fucking knows what that is. Oh, thank you, tell Pelotros that I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital, but anyway. Oh yeah, right, the crazy chick who cut her wrists. <laughs> I'll tell him, and hey, don't worry, Pelotros is better now. Oh ho ho, oh ho 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 before you go, you must know that rhymes kind of. I'm about to break up in a rhythmical musical number. Before you return to your reality, you will go through the secret woods. The woods are a kind of invisible passage between our realities. See, now, I'm, now I sound like Tim Curry. <laughs> Rocky Horror. Uh, and you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. But, but just run. They are quite slow. I like talking quite to him. And you're telling me this now? <laughs> well, that sounds very scary. Oh, don't worry, you'll do fine. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> I am so delightfully insane. I'm like, hee <laughs> hee, I'm just laughing about monsters trying to eat me. <laughs> I hope so. Well, Mr. Dead Knight, say goodbye. Goodbye, gentlemen. Ah, uh, bye bye. I'm just gonna, I'm not, I'm, it's a goodbye, I get it. Okay. Where to now? This so called forest where they will eat me? Oh, look at this. Oh my god, it's a... It's a troll monster thingy. Oh, oh fuck! I, then, okay, I have to... I have to keep a bit of a distance here. I'm not thinking this out. Alright, come on. There we go. This is a cute platformer. I kind of like these little in-game mini-games that they, they made. They put... Oh my god, I can't talk today. That they put in here. They're kind of cute, sort of, and they're like differently animated. Like the last one was a claymation mini game. Oh shit, I just made that jump. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, I just made that one too. I don't like having to jump from on top of another. Yeah, it's easy just to jump like around level. Like so. Now see, this is gonna be a bit. Sure. Look for that. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable with making those jumps. Hey, look, the, that tree is shaped and like grown like a door. That's kind of funny that uh, it's going into the tree. Cap Chapter 4, Part 1. My Imaginary Friend. Oh, very neat. Oh, kick the door. Kick the door now. Or open it politely. That's cool, too. My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Well, not fucking really. I mean, it's a door. But I suppose it's a pan-dimensional door, so I guess it's interesting. Come on, Mr. Minute. Let's find out where we are. All right. Well, that's nice. Oh, friend, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look, I think we are at the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into Etherstar? Yes, I remember. Great, let's keep on going, kitty. We have to be careful now. Okay. Oh my god, it's my pills. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. But where are they going? This is so obviously not a trap. Come here, pills. Pills don't move! Urgh. You want to show me the way back home? Let's see the signs right there. Oh, this tree. Okay, I didn't. Okay, I wasn't looking at the tree. Alright, get my pills. Pills here! Pills here! Oh, shit, that didn't work out well. Except I knew it was totally gonna happen. Oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills! You didn't even touch them in time! <laughs> bad friend. Bad. Bad. Bad friend. It's okay though, because I got to be a bloody knife! Punch him, girl! <laughs> Easy peasy. Alright, I'll go chase my pills again. Oh! Hey, I know you! 
friend, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 235. You're the guy I've seen in like everywhere. You opened the window to, to help me with the sisters. You, I think you're the one who opened the vent in the hospital that got me out of the room Phil locked me in. I don't know, you super. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. This is my voice for uh, Jack Skellington over here. Anyway. Let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Okay, see, I've seen the word Itward before, too. I've seen that in, like, different rooms in the hospital where I go to crazy pill land here. Itward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I was just explaining that, friend. Thank you. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Yes, you did. Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Yeah, no. I... no. Hey, are you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see, but that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by, they never looked into themselves? They blame me instead of facing the fact that the parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat? I always came by here at night and told you stories when you were just a baby. Oh, so you're a creeper, too. Okay, that's nice. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary. You see, I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. That sentence, like coexist with itself that, that like it contradicts everything you just fucking said it <laughs> makes no sense at all anyway we don't have time to talk about this right now good because it's not making any sense anyway actually i'm here to take you home follow me take me home i can't let you do that i don't know you i won't hurt you i'm not made out of darkness i'm your friend your appearance will really beg to differ here hmm all right, you seem nice. I'll go with you. But I won't trust you just yet, Mr. Jack Skellington, sir. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. Okay. Ooh, oh my god, look at you. You do remind me of Jack Skellington. Minus the hat, you're basically a walkie-talkie Jack. Can you dance for me, too? Jack yeah, could do that. Woohoo, look at this. Behold, the Itward flying machine. What do you think? It looks like... The ultimate prototype of the TARDIS. It's alright, but uh, can't it really fly? Yes! With this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. Yeah, gorgeous is definitely the right word. Did that eye just blink? Because if so, that's fucking weird. Ah, oh, Bamper did! <laughs> that's nice. Well, look, maybe this thing is a TARDIS after all. It's alive, obviously. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Fix the details? Okay. Besides, it's not 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower, and that gives us a chance to enter the ULTRA REALITY! Inside the ULTRA REALITY! We can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality. But you aren't part of the third reality. Do you understand? No, I don't! <laughs> but sir, sh oh, um, that's the wrong voice. But sir, should I just wait until you are done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not. You can help by getting water and fire berries, all right? I don't want to, uh, but I'm tired. Maybe I'll just wait here. If you wait, I'll wait. And the endless wait. Uh, <clears throat> God damn it! Ick. <laughs> there we go. All fixed. The endless waiting will consume us both. Oh, no, no! I really want to go home, sir, so yes, I'll help. Great! Here's my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Oh, yeah, it looks, it looks very fancy schmancy. Ah, and the fire berries. You realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. No, shit, really? I thought they were called fire berries because they grew in the water. All right, sir, but... Uh, all right, can I just ask? Why do you need the berries in the water? Ah, well the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. What the fuck are the Kamalas? I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know, but we do know that they don't like water, yes? 
Oh, darling, I almost forgot your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Thank you. It's good to have my good crazy make make me crazy pills. Invisible to my eyes. Okay, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Ah, oh, yes. About that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap, like, in one second. <laughs> That's out of insane. Anyway, I'll go get the fire berries in the water. I'll be right back. Great! I'll be preparing the machine! Alright, later, Mr. Jack Skeleton, sir. Let's see. I haven't seen Fucked Up World in a while. <laughs> ah! What the fuck? My body is being... My body is being mutilated by that thing's tongue! This is... I don't even look at it. That, that's like... That's like... That's almost the equivalency of monster rape. That's disgusting. Oh, this part. Oh, what the hell is this thing? So much hair and so- Oh! Are, are these the- are, are this- I might see more insects again, like, uh, before? They're trapped in curio- whatever the fuck it was, I'm thinking about curiosity, I don't know. Oh, shit! Oh, there's the fireberries! Can I climb this thing, maybe? That'd be neat. Get out! Get out! You're trespassing on my territory! Huh? Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. Oh my god, is this thing talking to me? Okay. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me? Rotten and bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? <laughs> Mr. Moose? But I'm not a moose. I'm a deadly worm. Deadly worm? A, a deadly worm? <laughs> no, no, not a deadly worm. A de- Okay, I'm gonna say a deadly worm. Deadly. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil what creatures took from it and don't need anymore. But I always see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh, hi there. Down here, creature. Can't you see me? Oh, you're so cool. You look like a little, uh, a Grim Reaper worm guy, but you got, like, little scythes for wings, I think. It's pretty fucking cool. I like that. Oh, there you are. You are so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask you, why did you touch the moose in the first place? Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fire berries. I see. I think that it's possible. The moose is still, oh my god, why am I yawning right now? The moose is still very sturdy and solid. And the fire berries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire. But I have to take them out somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Alright. This is so gross. Me getting on this thing. Alright. Well, I obviously can't grab them. What if I cut them with my knife? I could cut the berries off the tree, but they are on fire. Okay. That's... Well, wait, wait. You can't reach over and, like, chop the branches or something stupid? I just noticed the sign says hell. Oh, wait. Why don't I just cut them now? Can I, can, can I, can I do that? Oh, alright! I like that! Very awesome! Now I can just climb down. Oh, dear height! I can't jump down, I can break- Oh, okay, I guess I can only climb- Pfft, No run behind. I guess I can only climb down then from the moose. Alright. There we go. Oh, look at this. Wait, I can go this way? Oh, no, I just looked down. Oh, what if we really fell? Maybe we fell upside down. Okay, no. Let's see what this looks up. Fucked up. It looks no different at all. Oh, hey! It is another insect person. Hello. Hello. Are you the... Oh, pff, wrong voice. Hello. Are you the shiny insect that got stuck on the trees because of curiosity? We usually get stuck, yes. How did you know this? You are not one of us. I've met some of your kind before. I helped them to get free from curiosity. Ah, that is very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Uh, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Alright, well, I have to get to water, obviously. Why don't I just grab it? Oh no, I can't reach the water from here. Pfft, bullshit. Wait, why don't I use your hair? Why don't I go all Rapunzel on you here? Can I grab it somehow? No. We're not stuck! Now leave us alone! We are trying to grow our hair and make it beautiful! Okay, yes, your hair is very beautiful and long, hence why I'd like to use it to climb down if I could. Oh, here, wait. 
with spirits with hair here we go let's try that I need help please would you allow me to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair tie a bucket to a hair why that sounds insane oh no it's not insane at all <laughs> sorry I couldn't say that with a straight face I need water from under the cliff but I can't reach it I need to use your beautiful long hair it's a rope oh I see I am going Rapunzel please help me all right we'll help you tie the buckets real tight Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Fill the whole bucket up, please. Uh, uh, I'm not going to climb down it? Oh, wait, wait, maybe I won't climb down it. Okay. Oh, maybe not. Okay. The bucket is now full of water. Oh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is somewhere we all wish to belong. But does home belong somewhere? That's like the most mind-boggling thing ever. It's like, it's like the whole, you ever wonder why we're here thing? You ever wonder why we're here? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about at all. <laughs> it was a rhetorical question. Oh, of course it was. Yeah, definitely. I just wanted to say that. You are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. That sounds mysterious and retarded. I'm just gonna go. Bye. No reason to ever talk to you again now. Because I got the stuff that it word needs. Yo, it would. I got it. I got it. Sir, I brought the fireberries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent! Oh, pfft, fuck, I keep getting these voices wrong. Magnificent! They will do just fine! Thank you very much, my darling! Alright, the water now. Sir, it word! Here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the Lucifers! They are nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you! Wow, burn me. Well, I haven't been into the fifth reality yet. I wonder if I'm actually going to travel among these realities. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be your worst nightmare you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, Fran, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. All right. This guy is kind of like doctor number zero here. <laughs> at him. Whoa. Oh, look at this. And of course it's bike pedaled. <laughs> bike powered, sorry. It's 236. We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, friend? It sounds exciting. Palatros told me about different realities, but where are they? You'll soon understand. The answers are not easy to recognize. Uh, why not now? Time goes as it has to, in order for you to be alive. If it all happened now, you'd probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say, through time you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them, not when others tell you how or where to find them. Oh, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. That's the best thing you could do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, Fran, we have to get things done. Talking won't take you home. What thing, sir? The machine needs some maintenance, and I think you will be do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and the water you gathered before. Thank you. You'll need them to get the water pump working again and the fuel mixed. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Uh, okay, but I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I've never done anything like this before. That makes it more exciting. Have fun, my darling. All right, I'll go now. Okay, I'm actually going to walk away from it word over here. Maybe I should just push the button. Oh. Well, this one I said, okay. I'm gonna walk away from it. What because talk do Oh hi! Hi! I remember you! You were in the hospital! Wait, wait, come back! Where'd you go? Alright, bye then. Anyways, I'm getting away from it because uh me talking like him hurts my throat, so I don't need this pencil. I already have Oh yeah, right, we do have a crayon. Well, you know Oh look at this. Okay. Oh, Oh. oh, let's put the fire barriers in here. Trying out things is good, but in this case, wh wh why not? He said I could use the fire berries as fuel. Oh. Uh, maybe I have to prepare the fire berries for this. What is this? Oh, here you go. Fire berries. 
Oh, duh, right. <laughs> On ultra. Oh! <coughs> oh! I'm sorry, that voice is so bad for my throat. But, okay, so this whole thing I've been looking at the whole time, this is the ultra reality. Whoa, holy shit! Oh my god! Seconds and minutes and hours and days. Jesus Christ, my hands are all. Oh my god, that's fucked up. Alright, okay. Well, me being in the ultra reality, these two suckers should be on fire. What? Okay, but they're on fire now. Unless now, hold on. Oh, water pump. Okay, okay, hold on. There we go. Okay. But boom. Oh dear. Okay, damaged hose. Oh, look, there's an eyeball here. Ooh, a pipe. Oh, okay, here we go. It has a uh, sort of a connector. I'm gonna see whatever I can pick up in here now. I'm just gonna pick up. I'm just gonna pick up everything and anything. Red. Can I take all these fucked up? Oh, oh, oh. Um. Okay. Oh man, I I I was never a good. I'm not really good at chemistry. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can just switch this out. Hold on. Um, this is too much for me to rack my brain around right now. So, I'm gonna leave it out here and figure out how to do this next time. So. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment of what else I should play in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters!